like so while me... you're while you're f***ing these like new men, mm -hmm. do you think about the guy who put it down just right? That's such a f oh my god, that's crazy. Bro. Yeah, I can analyze that's so that. crazy. Dude. I don't think she's that she's having sex with other I men. Can analyze she's having sex with so, other men and she's thinking about the guy who did it just right. So I can answer oh that. Oh my god, that's I, so I, I can answer that question. So the reason why That's crazy. I, the reason why I knew I needed to get a divorce was because I have a crystal clear memory of me having sex with my husband and thinking about this other guy and me knowing in that moment I have to divorce him because if I don't get I've out of this marriage, I'm going to cheat on him. I'm going to try to find this. That's and I know that's really me. up, but I didn't want to be no, a cheater. No, it's not. It's not. That's happened to me too. <laughs> so while you were, hold on, let me recap here. While you were having sex mm -hmm. with your husband, mm -hmm. you were thinking about another man mm -hmm. who you were having, who you had better sex with. Mm -hmm. And because the sex with your husband wasn't as good as the sex with this other man, mm -hmm. you wanted to get a divorce. It wasn't the sex, it was the connection. But yes, it was the realization 100%. too. The guy who was really good in bed, how mm -hmm. long did you date him for? Six months. And how soon did you have that connection after meeting him? Immediately. It was immediate. You, wait, hold on. I thought a connection is something that takes a while to develop. No, it's that intrinsic connection that you either have or you don't with a person. It's either there well, or it's not. So just you can build. Primal... You can build on that connection to you... have form deeper connections. Wow. But there's... this is a red pill if I've ever fucking no, heard one. No, but there's different types of connections. There can be a connection. Well, this was a base primal a connection. connection. Mm -hmm. You had the click. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why You've did, never why had it, that before? Why didn't it not why did it not work out with this guy? Because he was a lot younger than me and I didn't want um, younger meaning uh, he was he was in a completely different stage in his life from me. And I didn't want to hold him down by being in a relationship with me. I kind of made the sacrifice to let him be young and yeah, do and experience his yeah. youth and not be tied down by me. Mm -hmm. Was he a, was, what arc, arch type archetype is, was he, are we bad? Was he a bad boy? Archetype. Archetype. Um, he was cocky, <laughs> but, archetype. Yeah. but sweet. Cocky, mm -hmm. but sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, tattoos. No, no tattoos. Mm -mm. Okay. Pretty much the antithesis of what my type is, I should say. He was the opposite of what your type is? Mm -hmm. What's your type? Tall, dad bod, not cocky, so <laughs> down to earth. So he was short? He was not short. I think he was right about my was height. Was he ripped? Skinny. No, skinny. Skinny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bad skin. Bad skin. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I saw beyond the physical. I just fell in love with who he was. Uh, were there any, were there any like, uh, did he have any personality disorders? No, he was the most normal. He was, he was so mature. Like I met him when I was 20 and he was 22 and at 22, he was already a pilot. He was already working in aviation. He was already on his way towards his aviation career and he was just very goal driven. Hilly donated $100. It's beyond f up. Brian's right. Good men get fucked over cause of your fairy tale delusion. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. After you segue into body count, can we ask why they deserve this man that they dream of? I didn't say I, I completely am. I'm, I'm don't live in Dululu and I am very aware that it's up, thus why I wanted to get a divorce because I didn't want to be that awful person that cheated on her husband. At least she's aware of her like actions. A lot of people can't be aware of that and they don't validate it. Nickelodeon donated $100 and they say pair bonding isn't real. Girl, you're ruined. I am. Take the guy that's willing to love you and be happy you got it. Soul ties Though, are real. after this show, that will probably be harder. Go back to our hobby. <laughs> well, he's married to somebody else. Soul Thank ties you. are real. Soul ties are real. 
This is crazy. I mean, this is a huge difference. Nickelodeon, I appreciate your um, your message. We have another one here that's about to come in. Loose energy donated one hundred dollars. <laughs> Holy shite! These are f***ing haram. <laughs> Thinking of other dudes while your husband is f***ing you. Mm -hmm. Brian Abdul is sharpening his rocks. <laughs> he would like to see this three hundred and four a sap. Hashtag get the. F Rocks. Well, when I Damn. said when I said when I agreed with her, I was thinking about a girl, not another guy. Just saying. And I'm not a 304. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm almost at a loss for words here. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Um, I'm. If anything, I'm a hundred percent honest. I'm not delusional. Well, I, I know. I credit you for your honesty exactly. and actually being able to admit that because that's spreading awareness by doing that um you thought that was funny it's no definitely comment. not mainstream i mean this look really quick on the whole click chemistry vibe mm -hmm. lightning butterflies whatever whatever bullshit term you want to attribute to it mm -hmm. uh i don't really believe in that because you've never had it no look i've had I've had women that I get along better You've with. You've never than had others. it. If you d if you can't. No, because men and women are different. No, once you We're get different. that feeling, you'll know that feeling. Trust. That's just no, a cop out. It's not a cop out. It's just this like, it's sort of it's Brian, this nebulous thing, bro. It, nothing I happened. I actually agree with them on this one. That's fine if you agree, but it's like here's what I think it is. Who hurt you? When you don't feel that. Here's what it is. Mm -hmm. He doesn't trigger your anxious trauma response, that which you confuse for love. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. That's what the click and the chemistry and the connection mm -hmm. is. Or the other thing it could be is you'll feel that for a guy who's like really out of your league. Mm -hmm. That's the other way to, to trigger it. No, I 100% am a very aware of the whole butterfly thing. You're not supposed to fe want to feel butterflies with the person you have a potential partnership with because your anxiety is heightened and your cortisol levels are heightened, that you should feel calm and at ease with your partner. Mm-hmm. But I guess you're like self-aware. Still but not God the same damn. thing yeah, as sexual chemistry. No, but we're talking. Okay, there's like differences here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's all I was talking about the whole time. That's that's Maybe crazy. Just, yeah, son. No, that's yeah, that's I was crazy. Just explaining the difference too between them. Well, I mean, if if we're going off of the click or the chemistry or the vibe, how many he who here has felt going around the table, starting with you, who here has felt that for somebody? Have you Vibes. felt, you felt, yeah. it, you felt 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 it. Well, did, I mean, I'm curious, did that person end up always being a good person that you felt that for? Yes. They always were a good person? Yes. They were always the, the one you should have been with? No. No. Did any of those guys, let me ask you another follow-up question starting with you. Did any of those guys that you did feel the chemistry or the click or the whatever sparks, whatever the term is, with, did that guy turn out to be a piece of shit? Yes, but there's a difference between the feeling that you feel. That's all I'm going to say. Continue. Yes. I'm still just talking about sexual chemistry. Just romantic chemistry. Romantic chemistry? Yeah, because you... End up being a you piece can, of shit? Yes. Not in every scenario. Not, I'm not saying in every scenario, but have you felt it for a guy and turns out he really wasn't the, you probably shouldn't have picked him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you had that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 With other people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not clear to me then if picking men based off of this nebulous click is really the optimum way of finding a partner. It's not, I don't but think it's anyone nature. Ever said it that, just Brian. happens sometimes. Yeah, but we're not beholden to our base animal instincts of wanting that person that, you know, mm. maybe boring's good. Maybe unexciting is good. Because um, y'all are so, y'all yeah, got the, it's that. like you got your dopamine hits so mm -hmm. Up, you need a guy who's like chaotic mm -hmm. or introduces chaos into your life because you're addicted to the drama and the mm -hmm. excitement. You're chasing the feeling, yeah. Not me. You're addicted. You guys are addicts. Mm -hmm. You like the toxicity. I'm an addict. You hate like toxicity. the toxic guys. I mean, to be completely fair, my five year, that was like, he was super boring in every way and he had a feeding fetish. So, 
Well, that no one's safe. Okay. No one's Nobody safe. safe. <laughs> I just think, in terms going back again to the sexual chemistry part, it's important for someone like me, and I said it's not for everybody because if you're holding off until marriage or whatever, then that's totally like your own thing. But for me, I do want to make sure that I am sexually compatible with my partner before getting married. I, th I think that's fine. I think it's fine if you want to have good sex with a partner. I do think there's a difference, though, here between men and women. Men don't typically prioritize sexual experience in women. 